Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh and Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double one to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to Lek out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I just want to get into a, uh, another episode of uh, speaking freely, you know, while on the way home. And, um, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, just pretty much give an exhortation, you know, for brothers. Um, you know, no matter what you're going through, man, you know, just uh, keep striving, you know. Um, you know, just so many different things, you know, uh, within this world, you know, that's set up, you know, to uh, bring us down. You know, first and foremost, starting with Esau and everything that he has, you know, implemented in his system, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, things to bring us down. You know, so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you know, uh, from a systematic standpoint, you know, whether it be jail or, you know, whether it be, you know, the monetary system, you know, and us being subject to payments and, um, you know, whether it be through the, the programming of the TV and the radio and the way this world looks at things, you know, no matter what we, we strive we strive, we continue to strive just because this is truly all we have. And the more, you know, that we have to constantly deal with the elements of the world, the more we get sick of it, man. And the more we see how wicked this place is, you know, the more that we desperately desire that heavenly rest, you know. And, you know, of course, a, a staple, you know, uh, staple scriptures, uh, with us is always, you know, Sirach, the second chapter, and, you know, uh, you know, when things are brought upon you, you know, take it cheerfully, man, you know, and at times, you know, it, it's hard to do so, you know, but in spirit, you know that all the hell and what you're going through is for our purifications, you know, for the purifications of our spirit, you know, and that's why it's important you know, for us to know how to use the world, not abuse the world, and don't get caught up in the things because once, you know, you get caught up into something and it's only going to create nothing but a big disappointment, you know? And we know that everything within the society is going down. Everything, man, no matter what it is, you know? No matter what it is, everything is going down, you know? We, we constantly see it from, you know, the uh, different things that, uh, like the stores, you know, for instance, and how everything is transitioning to the to the internet, you know, and how everything is transitioning to a more of a digital currency. Things are transitioning more towards, you know, the mark of the beast, you know, according to uh, Revelations, you know, which is going to be the chip. So we see all these different things happening, you know. So why set yourself up for more disappointment? And, you know, one good way or, you know, a tool that I use to look at things, you know, uh, within my life is how they say, um, always expect, uh, I, it's like I'm mixing up the quote, but, uh, yeah, expect the unexpected. Well, us being prophets, we already know that our life is nothing but pure hell. So, you know, the unexpected should be normal for us. And actually, it should be expected because what we're expected to catch hell. So the way I look at things is, you know, not to put a, a negative stigma on anything, but, you know, say, for instance, look at things in like they might fail or look at things like you don't expect too high of an expectations. So where, you know, if it does, if something does work out for you. Then you say, oh, well, hey, you know, all praise you, by Shemel and the Lord made this work out for me. But don't put your hope into too much of things within this world, you know. And we know that this world is going to uh, come to an end soon. You know, the monetary system, everything within this world is going to come to an end soon. Why well, set yourself up for more disappointment, you know, like, like a person in the world. And then, you know, that could potentially break you. You know, that could potentially break your spirit because you put all your, your your hope and your aspirations into something, you know, that's tangible. And we know the substance and everything in which we truly hold near and dear to us, you know, is it 
It's spiritual, you know. That's why, you know, uh, we quote the scripture too. Well, I quoted, you know, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 4. You know, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. So knowing that and knowing, and as I said, knowing how to use the world and not abuse the world and having the wisdom of how to deal with things, we prepare ourselves, you know, to, to know how to deal in this world. We prepare ourselves for the uh, collapse of this world and we embrace, you know, Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh more daily, you know, within our prayer and within our thoughts and for the Lord to keep us, you know, in a righteous mindset that we won't fade away from this truth, you know, and as slowly but surely, you know, the Passover is approaching and, you know, we're in the midst of this season, you know, you're going to catch hell, you might catch hell afterwards, you know, because that's the season and, you know, because uh, the Lord is, you know, doing his sifting process. So you just want to make sure that you're keeping a level head, you know, through all of this, you know, and, and stay strong. And, you know, also in um, 1 Peter 4 and um, 12, it says, uh, thinking not strangely, you know, uh, concerning the fiery trial, which is a trial, you know. So as I said, you know, that with that saying, expect the, expect the unexpected, you know, the unexpected is expected for us, you know, if brothers get what I mean, because we should expect to catch hell. We expect to go through that fiery trial. So why should we think uh, these things such a mystery when these things come upon us? You know, we're aware to what the Lord is going to do. We have one up on the world, you know, so these things shouldn't overtake us as a thief in the night. Because we should be, you know, prepared and be fully equipped mentally for all these things that are to come to pass. You know, so you just got to constantly know when you're going through these different uh, uh, things, you know, afflictions, especially uh, mental afflictions, you know, that all you have to do is continue to strive, man. That's all you have to do. Continue to put, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, take them steps toward the Lord. Know, continue to, to stay in prayer regardless of what hardships you may be going through in the spirit man you know you stay strong because if we fall back into the world what do we truly have what do we what, what are we truly going back to if you was to fade away and go back into the world you know what you're going to hang out with your dudes you're going to get drunk you're going to i mean fuck bitches do the same shit you used to do in the world you know what what it what is there there's no life in the world man there's no life in the world and we have to constantly take you know those uh whom have fell away as an example and to keep them in remembrance you know of how not to be and we see how the lord brings judgment upon those guys that eventually wind up falling by the wayside and falling out of the truth you know and as looking at those guys as an example we look at, as a wicked example we more so look towards the men of the scriptures as righteous examples, such as King David, such as King Solomon, such as Paul, you know, and of course, first and foremost, Yahweh Shah, you know, and all the other prophets, you know, that continue to endure with the Lord, regardless of the hell and everything in which, you know, uh, the Lord brought upon them, you know, and, and that, that's important, man, you know, having those uh, uh, righteous examples and you know, having, you know, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shah as, uh, you know, our father and our big brother to guide us and, you know, the rest of the prophets of the scriptures, you know, as examples, that's what we truly need. And we have our physical examples here, you know, on earth, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, you know? So we have to take all these different things in, into an account, you know, to, to strengthen us, a, a part of strengthen us. And also we have the brotherhood, you know. The, the scriptures also say, uh, Luke uh, uh, 22, uh, and when thou art converted, strengthen our brethren, you know. So it's going to be times where you're, you're weak and, you know, you, you, you feel a certain way in the spirit, you know, and you have uh, brothers there to get you through. But then, you know, at those times in which you're strong in the spirit, you may be thriving in the spirit, you know, it's going to be another brother that's that's weak in the spirit. And it's going to be your job, you know, as a man of the Lord and as your brother's keeper, 
to lift that man up, you know, sincerely, you know, and to help him to get through his times. And it's been at certain times to where, you know, you may just need to, to focus on things for yourself and for you, because at the end of the day, nobody can get you through the problems and what you're going through except for, except for the Lord and you, you know, that's why, um, you know, uh, Apostle Gabar, he always mentions that we are our own worst enemy. And, and that truly is the case every step of the way. You know, in the book of Sirach, uh, 30, 37, and um, I believe it's verse uh, 13 or 14. And it, and it says, uh, a man's mind one time, tell him uh, more than seven men in the watchtower, you know, roughly paraphrasing. I Meaning there's so many different things going on. Uh, uh, within your mind and different spirits that are tugging in your mind, you know, you're going to have the righteous spirits to try to, you know, keep you in, you know, in check, you know, have them checks and bounces. And you're going to have those wicked spirits, you know, uh, trying to put them, the negative thoughts, emotions and stuff like that within your head, man, you know. So truly, we are our own worst enemy and, and also with the flesh. Because the flesh is constantly calling, so that's another aspect to add into the equation, you know? So it's just constantly being circumspect of ourselves and examine ourselves that we are able to, you know, and with prayer, first and foremost, to, to get through, you know, everything in which we go through, man. And if you constantly work on examining yourself, you know, the, the better off you'll be in the long run, man, to where you'll know, you know, am I going off or this or that? And, you know, especially, you know, if, if you're somebody who don't like for people to, to get on you or to say stuff about you, you know, then you should be more upbeat on yourself than anybody else could, you know. So, um, you know, this just was, a, you know, just an exhortation, you know, and something, you know, for brothers to think about, man. Take different things into consideration, but regardless of what, you know, just stay strong in his faith, man, because this is truly 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 all we have and, and the more you know i continue to to, to walk in this faith to walk in the light of yahweh bashim yahusha I, I see it that much more and the, the the picture is already clear but you know for instance like uh, uh during the 90s you know uh or whenever you you know you may have been brother grew up earlier in the 2000s or you know what i'm saying whatever the case may be but you know in the 90s growing up you know just looking at tv you know it would it would seem clear you know what i mean the tv would seem clear but then as technology progressed you know you start seeing 3d images or the images of everything and enhanced the graphics of everything enhanced now when you look at the 1990s tv you know <laughs> it doesn't look as crisp it doesn't look as clear you know so things that's how it is like you know coming in truth we saw the picture we continue to see the picture but it it, it enhances the the graphics you know, everything it enhances our spiritual vision, our tunnel vision enhances day by day by day as we continue to grow in this faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. You know, and that's according to you know Matthew's uh, six and twenty-two. You know, having that tunnel vision, your eye being single. You know, so uh, you know, with that, you know, I hope this uh, exhortation was edifying, and I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Double one to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. And shalom to the luck out there, doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity. Shalom.